G'day everyone, it's Kimmy here and today I wanted to share with you my altered alarm clock. It's only, um, it's quite little. Um, it's actually a design team project for Mad About Scrappin and again I've used more of the 8x8 um, botanical tea um, pa pad from Graphic45. Um, it The clock started out pretty much like this. Um, this is one that I received in a swap from Jeanette over at Scrap and Happy uh, sometime last year, and I already had one in my stash. So, but it, yeah, it was just loose. So, this is what um, it, mine ended up like. <laughs> um, I painted the whole thing with quite a few coats of gesso, and I've layered the paper on um, on the sides. So, and I've distressed the edges and I have just used some of the Tim Holtz game spinners for hands because when I pulled it apart the hands were pretty flimsy so I sort of thought I'll just use the game spinners and put them in with an, um, a little pink brad um, and I've just glued some cheesecloth down the side and lots of paper flowers from Mad About Scrapping Store um, some of the soft pastel uh, curly roses that she sells and some of the tiny little roses that she has in stock at the moment as well so I'll put a close up there and these are the pastel roses that she has in stock at the moment and then I've just used one of the chipboard um, words that says dream and I didn't change the colour I've just left it the way that it is because it seems to go really well with the um, text in the background so that's my very first um, altered alarm clock, it's really shabby. And again, more fussy cutting with the butterflies and layered up with some uh, glossy accents. So really sorry about the glare, guys. There's not much I can do with the glass in the front. So. But that's it. That's my little shabby chic altered alarm clock. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.